We are joined in the media center by our pro stock winner here at the Menards NHRA Nationals, presented by Pet Armor at Heartland Motorsports Park, Troy Coughlin Jr., who goes back to back in the Camping World Series pro stock category. Troy qualified second with his Jags.com machine. Got through Chris McGahey, Fernando Quadra Jr., a rematch of the Seattle final round against Erica Enders in the semifinals. Troy won both of those. And then a final round win over Greg Anderson. That's back to back wins. 20 years ago, your father won right here in Topeka, and now you bookend the two-decade period with a win. Troy, just talk about how meaningful it is to win here at Topeka, to go back-to-back, back and walk us through your race weekend. Oh, it's, it's extremely meaningful. Uh, to Anytime you win at the same track as your father, it's uh, extremely memorable. You know, Because I remember being in the sixth grade, Jeg had me on the cell phone in the final round when he's racing Mark Wisnett. And uh, I'll just never forget just this elation when he said he won. I uh, pretty I pretty much took about three laps around his house because I was over, standing over at Uncle Jake's house with uh, Jake Three. We used to pretty much hang out every weekend, and uh, that's probably the fastest I've ran since, to, to be honest. So those that, that was a good time. Your team. Struggles at the start of the season, but you were working on a new car, and it has come around. To talk a little bit about the effort to get to this point, because now that effort is paying paying fruit. Gosh, it's it's a lot of work. These pro stock cars, when you struggle with one, you, it's like struggling two times. Um, but that's kudos to the whole Elite Motorsports. I mean, every single individual there, everybody works on every car, and uh, we, they they rally around it. So it's uh, it's extremely exciting. It's uh, probably the most unique motorsports team in my opinion just because of the passion the camaraderie and the, the fun and it's just a one big family you, you really have to come to the ropes just to see it for yourself let's open it up to members of the media starting off with bobby bennett from competition plus troy um, when the you you really did well in other classes and you really showed out and, and showed just what a talented driver uh you are uh, when you came to Pro Stock and those wins and that success didn't translate immediately, what was the mindset to get to where this is where, where you needed to be? Well, to be honest, uh, the mindset never really changed from the time I got here. I just wanted to get in the car and, and be as focused as possible and, and just be focused on the, the process of making a good, clean run. Uh, you don't always make good, clean runs. But uh, if you focus on the process and not the outcome, I think that your odds definitely go up, especially mentally. Now, you got your first win, and then you turn right around and get your second win. Were you expecting that follow-up win as quickly as it came along? Well, I mean, I, I really have no expectations. Um, I just try and come in and be the best I can be and, and work on making good runs with my guys. And... Uh, to be honest, no, I don't, I don't think I would have expected that, but uh, it's no surprise because they work so hard, uh, all, all the guys, they work, they work extremely hard day and night out in Oklahoma, they're seven days a week, either making power, cleaning the cars up, maintenancing, servicing, it's, it's a lot of work and it's, it's a juggernaut down there in Oklahoma. Now, we, we kind of joked with Greg about this being a race, the only race on the surface of the sun. And it's basically been back-to-back -back races on the surface of the sun. When you envisioned your first run of wins, did you expect them to be in such tough conditions? Uh, you know, that, that just makes it sweet. You know, it just shows you how fantastic the crew chief system is at Elite Motorsports between Mark Ingersoll, Rick Jones, Tim Freeman, Eric Lazinski, absolutely everybody, every single individual there. It just shows you, speaks volumes of their character and their integrity and, and their passion and will to succeed in the sport of postdoc drag racing. Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer. Similar to Bobby's question on the getting the second win, we always hear that momentum is a real aspect in sports and in motorsports, and that once you get your first one, it's easier to get your second one. So was it actually easier? Um, no. This, this class is extremely challenging. I mean, you're racing people like Erica and Greg, and you got Dallas out there who can be seven at will. And uh, no, I, I, I really don't think uh, 
it's it's it doesn't come any easier for sure i think that you kind of know what to expect you know each round kind of what's coming the turnaround times the the usual fatigue after the second round and you just kind of keep yourself going and you know you help your guys when they need it and support each other try and keep winning last question for me to you the goal for elite certainly is to have an elite car win the championship but so far this year i have got to ask and i do wonder is it an elite car win the championship and keep greg from getting 100. Huh. you know I, <clears throat> I i'm not so sure about keeping greg from 100 we're just going to try and win as many rounds and races as we can and that's uh pretty cool that he's going for 100 wins that's absolutely impressive and, and that's uh got to be a huge honor for him and it's an honor to be next to him and uh, just build upon that, the, the Jags versus Greg Anderson rivalry going so far back and kind of passing along now, you're carrying the torch. They had to be thinking, oh, is, you know, is 100 going to come up against a, a Jags car? And obviously, you know, Summit not as prominent on the side of that car anymore, but this is, a, this is an old school classic rivalry. Just talk a little bit about your position in that rivalry and kind of holding it down for your family. Well, my position is definitely all yellow, and uh, you know it's it's been a fun rivalry. I've watched my dad race Greg so much, and my uncle Jag race Greg so much. It, it's definitely uh, almost reminds me of uh, our football rivalry at home, Ohio State and Michigan. So it's 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 exciting. The fans want it. We want it. Uh, that's kind of you know a purpose out here, you know, to have rivalries, and it's great for marketing and and uh, I. I, you know, it's, I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm the luckiest kid here. Yeah, and, and on that note, you are a kid, and you're, I'm sure people are watching and hearing you. This, this kid, your dad also, too, but very zen, right? Think of the process, not the outcome, the way you handle yourself. It, you, it seems like the highs are never really that high, and the lows are never really that low, and you just have got a, a kind of a next-level attitude about this very intense sport. Well, it's, it's definitely intense for certain, uh, but uh, yeah, you, you really can't get too overly fired up, but you can't be asleep either. Uh, but it just all boils down to focus, focus and, and execution and, and just knowing what you need to do behind the wheel and a lot more focus. What can we expect out of this team for the remainder of the year, Pro Stock, not in Brainerd? I'm sure you're disappointed about that. They certainly love Pro Stock, but you'll be back at Indy, the big go. That's an awesome race. That's a lot of history there. I've always loved the history of drag racing, so always love to go there. I like to show up early and watch the Hemi shootout. And you've won it a couple of times, maybe in pro stock. Troy Coughlin Jr., good luck. Thank you.